Well, an a lot of this uh, support for Trump, with all his flaws, which he displays regularly, uh, are, is about the country. Uh, patriotic feelings people have. They feel the country's been let down. They just feel that our, our elite leaders on issues like immigration, they don't regulate any immigration, it seems. They don't regulate trade to our advantage, the working man's and working woman's advantage. They take us into stupid wars. Their kids don't fight, but our kids do. It's patriotic. They believe in their country. I once, when I was a Capitol policeman, I worked with an old guy named Leroy Taylor, a country boy from West Virginia, a guy who'd been in the military. He'd been an MP. And he said, he called me aside, college kid. He said, you know, Barnick had one of these jobs, and Harry Reid, and he goes, let me tell you why the little man loves his country, because it's always God. And it's a deep sense of the country is, is being taken away and, and betrayed. And I think that's so deep with people that they're looking at a guy who's flawed as hell, like Trump. And at least it's a way of saying, I am really angry about the way the elite has treated my country. And it's so deep, it, it overwhelms all the bad stuff from Trump. It's that strong. And he's going to fight to get it back. It's a strong force win of anger about the way the country's been betrayed. That's right. And they're, These th wars, and they're thinking he's going to fight, fight to get they it back. They think, well, he has a great sense sensory nerve that knows what works with people. I he may not care for a second when he goes to bed at night, if he has, does go to bed at night, uh, about immigration. He may not care about trade at all. He may not care about these stupid wars, because his record is very mixed on that, to say the least. But if he knows that the average guy out there, the average Joe, the regular guy and woman, is very angry about the way this guy, and Hillary is the symbol of the establishment. She's the symbol of the just way like things Jeb are Bush headed. Was. Just Burn it down. Bush, and right. they don't uh, like that. And they have, they're just trying to ring the bell and say, no. And, and Trump's the only way to ring it. One of the things we're looking at on Sunday is how, it has been remarkable how the collection of America's intelligentsia, not just in po the yeah. political world, look at the newspaper editorials, every Fortune 100 CEO, every member of the Bush family, no living Republican president, you can go on and on and on. There's this every supposed uh, leader in America is yeah. saying, don't vote for Trump. And you know what kind of impact that has had? What does it move the polls? Maybe not a point? Maybe a point? That's, it's amazing. It's, it's a lack of influence from America's collective leadership. That should scare the living daylights out of America's leadership.